based on the successful shipment, barging and transport contracts for GPP 2, 3 and 4 in 1991 and 1994, Jumbo faced earlier this year a new challenge of carrying 75 heavy lifts from Korea and Japan to the GPP 56 job site near Paka at the east coast of Malaysia. It was the Korean freight forwarder Hanseng Express who awarded Jumbo this prestigious total transport contract in combination with the Malaysian freight forwarder Container National. Our loading sequence with opposite uh, sequence Now what, what we will do for this first shipment, now we know more what pieces will be erected in what sequence. We know the, the number of barges we require. Based on that information, as well as the storage plan, we'll make a manual. From here to there, two kilometers. Too long, too big. That's why we very much important is delivery to us. Most important. That's why. I, I know your bike schedules and you are uh, most uh, some because meet our schedule. The heaviest lifts were the four reactors, each of 495 tons, and four large columns with lengths up to 56 meters, which all had to be brought in by barge via this river. Very strong current. Ooh, ooh. Nine times, twelve. Huh? Nine times. At what time? Final river and road surveys were carried out a few weeks prior arrival of the first heavy lift ship. To guarantee a smooth and efficient discharge operation of the heavy lift ship, Jumbo had mobilized its heavy lift barge JB1 and a second barge from Singapore. In the transport route we had to pass underneath high tension lines at four locations. As some of the items were 9.3 meters high, at two locations bypass roads were constructed to increase the required clearance. Yes. Early February, motor vessel Stella Prima was loaded in Mipo with 15 heavy lifts in the lower hold and tween deck, while the two longest columns were placed on deck. The ship's engineers control the anti-healing system on the bridge while lifting the 495 tons load from the trailer. A cargo superintendent from Jumbo's operational office in Rotterdam attends the loading operation and all items are exactly loaded as per planned storage plans. Two of the four heavy reactors are stowed in the lower hold while the two remaining ones are placed on the tween deck. A total of 15 heavy lifts with a volume of over 12,000 freight tons were loaded with ship's gear. The two longest columns were placed on deck while all associated ladders, platforms and other general cargo was loaded below deck. To maneuver these long columns over starboard side in between both mast cranes, Jumbo's engineering department had prepared detailed lifting plans. All operations are prepared and planned well in advance. To ensure a safe journey, all columns and reactors were lashed and secured prior to departure of the Stella Prima to Kamaman. As the ship was completely loaded with cargo for the GPP-56 project, it meant a direct voyage from Mipo and Changwon to Kamaman. Due to some heavy storms at sea, the Stella Prima was delayed a few days and arrived on the 20th of February in Kamaman, which was still too early, as the monsoon at the Malaysian east coast was still active. In uh, Kamaman, uh, he explained to us that they expect a storm tonight, at midnight, a tropical storm heading in this direction uh, with 30 to 40 knots wind. So it could be that the ship was further delayed. In the meantime, both barges were prepared for the planned operation of seven barge trips from Kamaman to Paka. Steel supports and beams were installed at the planned positions on deck of both barges and hardwood timber blocks were purchased. The standard 1.1 meter high supports and beams 
facilitate the loading and unloading of heavy lifts by means of the trailer's built-in hydraulic suspension system. Jumbo once again checked the available water depth in the Paca River, while at the job site Dalim tested the cranes which were mobilized from Singapore to erect all items onto foundation. Finally, on the 24th of February, the monsoon winds calmed down a bit and we just managed to get both barges out of the Paca River and tow them to the Kamaman port. We were well prepared for this heavy swell which caused one of the towing lines to break and soon we were out of the danger zone. The Stella Prima had already rigged the 48 meter long column of 458 tons and in pouring rain she was safely discharged onto the deck supports and beams of the JB-1. The JB-1 was shifted out of the way and the second barge took its place along starboard side of the Stella Prima. Now the longest column of 56 meters and 370 tons was lifted from deck by both mast cranes and placed on the deck supports. While three more items were loaded on the NY4 and lashed and secured, the JB-1 was towed to the Paca River entrance and ballasted aground for the discharge operation via the Roro method. Due to the water depth limitations in the Paca River, we could not load more than approximately 600 tons on one barge and could only enter the river during high tide. When the JB-1 was offloaded, we pulled her from the jetty and met with the NY-4 just at the river entrance. There was still quite a bit of swell and we had to maneuver extremely cautious to avoid the rocks at one side and the beach at the other side of the river entrance. It went well with the 700 horsepower shallow draft tack at front and four assisting fishing boats we managed to maneuver each barge safely in front of the Pacaroro jetty. After the barge was ballasted the ground, the multi-wheel platform trailers were maneuvered under the supports, loaded the columns and rolled off for transport to site over a distance of 14 kilometers. The key to a smooth and efficient discharge operation was a detailed, well-prepared logistical plan. While one barge was offloading at the Paca Roro jetty, the other barge had returned to the Stella Prima in Kamaman port and was loaded with the next heavy items. The whole operation had to be planned around fixed tidal conditions, draft limitations in the Paca river and unpredictable monsoon winds as well as a quick and efficient discharge operation of each barge by the inland haulage contractor. It was a teamwork of all parties concerned which made this operation successful. Chapadu had mobilized 40 axle lines of self-propelled modular transporters as well as 44 lines of conventional platform trailers. This equipment proved to be ample to execute the transportation of all items from the Paca jetty to the job site. Flatbed trailers carried the general cargo by road from Kumaman to site. For each load, Jumbo had prepared a detailed transportation plan and checklist, showing the trailer configuration used, extra line loads and average ground loads, as well as the critical stability during transport. The largest and heaviest columns were transported on platform trailers in double wide configuration, while the lighter items were transported on single trailers. During this first shipment, a total of seven bar strips were executed within a period of 14 days. The last four bar strips of this shipment were all with items of 495 tons, in some cases joined with a smaller load not exceeding 117 tons. Upon arrival at the Paca jetty, the barge tanks were ballasted by means of diesel or electrical ballast pumps.
The same procedure was repeated again and again. Maneuver, trailer under load, lift it from its supports, lash and secure and transport to site. The 495 ton reactors were loaded on a double wide 20 x line self-propelled modular transporter and rolled off via steel plates spanning the gap between barge tech and jetty. While the smaller items loaded on conventional platform trailers were pulled by heavy duty tractors, the heaviest reactors were transported on self-propelled transporters and negotiated each turn easy. Escorts and wire lifting crews accompanied each transport and raised the wires where necessary. For unloading these heavy reactors without the need of a crane, Jumbo used 8 meter long steel support beams which were placed under each transport saddle. At site, near the foundations, supports were placed on which these heavy items were offloaded making the transport operation independent from the erection work at site, hereby avoiding costly standby time of trailers and cranes. On the 6th of March, the last reactor of 495 tons was loaded on the 7th bar trip and towed to the Pucker River, while the Stella Prima returned to Korea for the next voyage. From early March until end of July, Jumbo shipped 75 heavy lifts and accessories in seven voyages from Korea and Japan to Kamamong. A total cargo volume of 47,000 freight tons, equivalent to 13,151 metric tons, was shuttled along the East Malaysian coast in 26 bar trips from Kamamong to Paka, with no time lost due to accidents. The last heavy items were the 9.3 meter high cold boxes from Japan which were safely delivered to site on the 31st of July 1997, hereby completing a successful transport assignment.